Jiwande. A gift from the gods. Jiwande. Do not be afraid, my daughter. You wonder where you are and how you got here. All your answers and more rest with her. You need nothing to fear from her. I hope all ends well, so that I will be granted forgiveness and rest in the great beyond. Fear not, you're in the past. This is the ancient kingdom of Itura. The gods brought you here for me to show you great secrets about this ancient kingdom and your kingdom, Ibarakuta. The two kingdoms need your help. Where we stand was once a prosperous land of Itura, which was ruled by a great king and four judges. The king died, and it was a time of great mourning. The fight for the throne between the two sons of the king began soon after. Prince Adebora, who was born moments before Prince Adebojo, was named successor to his father. Prince Adebojo felt the high priestess lied about the time of his birth because of her friendship with Prince Adebora's mother, and thus cheated him from being the heir to the throne. Prince Adekwaja's belief that he was cheated out of his birthright to rule caused division in Isura, with the kingdom split between those who support Prince Adekwaja and those who support Prince Adekwaja. On the day of the ritual that would lead to the declaration of his brother as king, Prince Adekwaja had other plans. Prince Adekwaja did the unthinkable. After killing his brother, the bloodthirsty prince tried to force the judges to pronounce him king in exchange for their lives. With their last breath, the judges cursed the prince, his men, and all in the kingdom that supported the horrible act he had done. The cross strips the guilty of their human nature. The kingdom of Isura grew into a dense forest, which the cursed ones became the inhabitants. They were doomed to turn to the forest under the supernatural presence of the curse, until justice and true love on those tied to them by blood breaks the curse. Let me take you to what is known as the Forbidden Forest. Let me tell you what happened to the remaining people of Isura who were not cursed. They left Itura and over many years moved to the distant land of Ukeokuta in the ancient Ibadan kingdom. There, your king, Jagumbade, a young prince of Ukeokuta, also a descendant of Prince Adebowura of Itura, fell in love with Miss Made, a descendant of Adetutu, the wife of Prince Adebowura. The corrupt elders of Ukeokuta saw this as an opportunity to seize control of the throne. They wrongfully accused Prince Jagubade and Musumade of killing Prince Ade Damola. Instead of Jagubade to keep his oath to her, he decided to stay and fight for the throne. He promised that after he reclaimed power, he would undo her banishment and they would be together. Who knew that breaking the curse meant more punishments for him in the land of the living? 
Musumade gave birth to a child. Omolade. Me. I would you found out that the other half of the stone necklace, which my mother cut in her pain, held the donation powers. It guided Awojide to lead Jagumbade and his followers to the land. The half stone necklace that led him to Ibakuta actually led him back to my mother for the Forbidden Forest, which is the ancient land of Utura, where Musumade presides over as queen, but as the new kingdom that Jagumbade would establish. Amends must be made for the blood oath which Jagumbade failed to keep with my mother Musumade. The blood oath never stopped calling. Their union was ordained to set the breaking of the curse and justice into motion. For only true love from the ordained and justice can break the curse. For when my father and his loyal servants came out of the forest to deliver the message, they changed form as a set foot in Ibakuta. They not only became half human, but also became mute. Why are you here? What do you want? Why have you chosen to come now? My father could not pass the message. The people of Ibaokuta killed him and his servants. The fates of the cursed people of Itura and Ibaokuta will forever be named. Ibaokuta will have no peace until the curse is broken. Because King Shangubadi is dead. He is unable to fulfill the blood oath he swore. A part of breaking the curse has already been set in motion with the recent happenings in Ibaokuta. Time is short. The most important thing Ibaokuta needs to know is what King Jagubadi saw in the calabash before he died. For the curse to be broken so that Itura can be redeemed and Ibaokuta returns to peace, Ibaokuta will have to. 